We are racing at a breakneck pace straight into this weekend's Kentucky Derby. And before you reach for your seersucker and fedora, we are checking out this year's hottest derby brunch recipes with our friend and America's CEO, chief entertaining officer, that is, Tim Laird. Tim, welcome. Oh, so happy to be here, Rihanna. And I'll tell you what, it's brunch season because coming up Saturday, we've got the Kentucky Derby. Mother's Day's coming up or good for any idea, some fun ideas. Of course, at a brunch, you've got to start out with a Bloody Mary. I always say that. Yes, so, I love a good Bloody Mary. I do, too. And I love this because uh, uh, Zing Zang came out with this uh, amazing blazing Bloody Mary mix. So it's got a lot of spice, uh, a little bit of kick to it. So it's delicious. But I usually set up a Bloody Mary station. I set up a little traditional vodka or tequila for Bloody Maria's. Of course, I'm from Kentucky, so we put out bourbon in ours and have a Kentucky Mary. Uh, and then, of course, for those that don't want uh, alcohol, you can have an alcohol free version. Just drink Which is the mix. What we have, right? And you have the traditional Zing Zang original mix there. But I'm going to take a little bit of an ounce and a half of good Ooh, Kentucky bourbon. Good. Woo! It, it has a really nice taste to it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add about four ounces of the Zing Zang Blazing, because I do like spice. That's I the mean, Kentucky Mary? This that's is the Kentucky called? Mary made with bourbon mm. instead of vodka, but it's delicious and it has a lot of flavor to it. Of course, it's Kentucky Derby, so I always garnish everything with a little mint garnish, put a little sipping straw in there, and boom, here it is. Our brunch is off to the races. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, but tell us about the most expensive Bloody Mary oh, for yes. those heading to the Kentucky Derby. If you happen to be in Louisville uh, for the Derby, there's a place called Watch Hill Proper. It's the world's largest American whiskey bar, and they have a Bloody Mary with the Zing Zang for $1,149, and it also comes with a nice flight of very rare bourbons on the side. So okay. it's it's worth it. And then also it goes to uh, all the proceeds to the Disabled Jockeys Fund, so there's a good cause to it, as well as some That's great key. bourbons to taste, as well as that Bloody Mary. Here's another idea I love for brunches. I set out an artisan, kind of a charcuterie tray of different artisan jerkies. And I name them so my guests know what to get, whether it be bacon, turkey. I got a little carne asada, so your guests can grab it, go, and it's fun. Okay, and let's check out the pea soup. Oh, yeah, this is wonderful. I'll tell you what, I love these. And I serve it in little individual containers, mm -hmm. so your guests can grab it and go. And basically, uh, you can make this ahead. It's a little pea soup. Uh, or, or a couple of fresh or frozen peas with a little bit of chicken stock and I put a little bit of horseradish in there just a little bit give that a little stir and boom it's ready to go. Does it make a difference if you use fresh or frozen does it taste about the same? It tastes the same I'd say just use the frozen yeah. it's easier <laughs> and it has it a little hint of mint <laughs> in there too so a little mint it's really a, a spring refreshing item. I know okay, these look like deviled eggs, but they are clearly not eggs. <laughs> right? I know the price of eggs have gone skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. So what I did was instead of deviled eggs, we have deviled potatoes. These are really easy to make. You cut off a third of the top of the potato, put that in a food processor, add a little bit of Greek yogurt and uh, a little mustard and just a teeny bit of horseradish to get, give it a kick. And I've garnished it with a little bit of chives and they're delicious. And like I said, something easy to go. Okay, those look fantastic. Last, we have these turkey sandwiches, but they're special. Right, this is a, a take on the hot brown sandwich, which was invented at the Brown Hotel during the Roaring Twenties when revelers in the middle of the night needed something to eat. So uh, the Brown Hotel came up with this. It's originally an open-faced turkey sandwich with turkey, tomato, bacon, and uh, a little bit of Mornay sauce. But I just use a little bit of cheese sauce, turn it into a slider, and it's delicious. It Not looks, only for derby, but any time. These all look fantastic. As he mentioned, you can use these great recipes for your derby party or Mother's Day brunch. Check out Tim's book, That's Entertaining, and the Bourbon Country Cookbook, as well as our website, WNNFans.com. America's CEO, Chief Entertaining <laughs> Officer, Tim Laird, thank you so much. Cheers. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.